Yo, here we are back for another Red Tech. This one's part two in our series about selecting your arsenal. This time around, we're talking RED's industry-leading imaging sensors. Each one of RED's current sensors has a special place in my heart and a specific set of characteristics that makes each an ideal sensor for tackling modern filmmaking challenges. All right, each sensor shoots R3Ds as well as ProRes and has 16 plus stops of dynamic range. Well, except Monstro, which has 17 plus stops, it's outrageous. So let's look at each sensor and a use case that can activate the awesome power in these R3D machines. Starting with Gemini, we have a 5K S35 dual sensitivity sensor. It has a resolution of 5120 by 3000, is 30.72 millimeters horizontally, 18 millimeters vertically, leaving you a 35.61 diagonal. This additional height on Gemini relative to RED's other sensors makes it perfect for anamorphic use. Fun fact, 4Perf Academy film is also 18 millimeters tall, so a lot of those awesome vintage anamorphic lenses you could use were designed for similar imaging circles. And pixel pitch! Let's talk about pixel pitch. So pixel pitch is a term that refers to the photosite size being used in the sensor. The photosite is what captures the light for the sensor and gives you the information for your image. So you can think of a photosite like a bucket, and you can think of light like rain. So the larger the bucket, the more rain is collected each time it rains. Now imagine that the bucket is a photosite and the rain is light. So each time with a larger photosite, more light is captured as information by the sensor. The moral of the story is the larger the photosite, the easier it is to capture light. And that's why Gemini works so well in low light. This larger pixel pitch combined with Gemini's low light sensitivity mode makes it the perfect sensor for challenging lighting conditions. I mean, they built this thing for NASA to use on the space station. But in all seriousness, with 96 frames per second full sensor and 5K meaning more shooting time per red mini mag or much lower compression choices, it's up to you. This sensor is an action and documentary killer while obviously still maintaining its title as the Prince of Darkness. Oh, metal. Okay, moving up in resolution, we have the new guy, Komodo. Komodo is a 6K S35 global shutter sensor at 6,144 pixels by 3,240. It's 27.03 millimeters horizontally by 14.26 millimeters vertically and 30.56 on the diagonal. Did I mention global shutter? It rips and captures motion and vibration with no artifacting and beautiful clarity. You can capture flashes with no half frames. And though it's not a traditional workflow, I was able to fire strobes using a Pocket Wizard's test button and get beautiful results after some trial and error. Komodo is a step into the future and boasts a totally unique feature set. Built into the sensor is a phase detection autofocus system, which is a first for RED. Add into the ability to control the camera and see a low latency image preview through the RED control app, the size and global shutter make Komodo ideal for high-speed FPV drone photography. This is the first camera to bring true cinematic quality to a form factor this size. Goodbye 10-bit action cams and hello cinema in the palm of your hand. It is worth noting that unlike DSMC2, Komodo features a fixed sensor and OLPF. It's crazy to think that at this point, helium is the tried and true. I remember when 8K first hit the scene in 2016, I have been in love ever since. So, helium is an 8K S35 sensor. It's 8192 by 4320 for its pixel dimensions. Its physical dimensions are 29.90 millimeters by 15.77 millimeters. And 33.80 millimeters on the diagonal. There's this thing called super sampling, and it's all about capturing more information than your delivery specifications require. It does beautiful, wonderful things to your image. It's essentially the same concept employed in raw capture. Capture as much data as you can so that you can get the best final output out of that data. Capturing at 8K for a 4K delivery ensures that the size and appearance of noise is reduced significantly. Also, objects captured at higher resolution resolve more naturally on screen. Details are clear, round objects are smooth and buttery. Shooters trekking into the wild are often weighed down to bring extra lenses. 
Not to mention the danger of getting too close. You're bound to spook the animals, or get spooked. I prefer watching lions from the couch, thanks. For a 4K finish, 8K means you can crop in at a rate of two to one, meaning your 200 millimeter just became a 400 millimeter. Way safer. Helium is also a perfect fit for narrative projects that want the benefits of 8K acquisition, but are set on the look of a set of lenses that only cover Super 35. Okay, the last thing I'm gonna tout about Helium is something I have a bunch of personal experience with, creating advertising campaigns in both stills and motion. You could say that that's my day job here at Red. And for the last few years, Helium's been making it happen. Ah, monstro. Need I say more? This 8K VistaVision beast is a magical mix of larger pixel pitch and higher resolution. <laughs> my jam. Monstro is Red's largest sensor at full frame. The dimensions are 40.96 by 21.60 millimeters and 46.31 on the diagonal. This thing bleeds cinematic. There are some very desirable effects that result from a larger capture area. That's why photographers have been shooting medium and large format for ages. Monstro maintains amazing clarity of focus in the important details, but has a buttery smooth roll off. And that's created by background compression and a shallower depth of field, all because of that larger capture area. This means that you have an automatic depth to your look, even on a wider lens. Super sampling and a large pixel pitch means that Monstro is clean, crazy clean. This camera can do it all, shoot in low light, crop in and reframe if you need to, and all with that large sensor look. Speaking of look, if lens versatility is an issue for you, then Monstro is the answer. With full frame lenses, S35, even medium format with a little bit of cropping, all of them can shine on RED's flagship sensor. This sensor can do anything, I mean seriously, but when I think about it, I kind of expect the next great masterpiece of our time to be shot on this because it's that pretty. Komodo has a sensor that's specific to its body style, but Gemini, Helium, and Monstro are all available in our Red Ranger or DSMC2 bodies. All are positioned to empower you to achieve your vision, all offering different features and different characteristics, all together solving for every imaging situation you could find yourself in. Gemini, the 5K S35 low light high speed beast, Komodo at 6K S35 offers global shutter perfectly paired with its small footprint. Helium gives you 8K at S35 and is ready for your lens set and the wonderful world of advertising. And Monstro's 8K VV rules over them all. Low light sensitivity, super sampling, large sensor look, you get it all and high speed at 6K S35. Okay, we're almost there, but you gotta bear with me for a little field trip. Check this out. So we know how well they all work separately, but now let's talk about just how well they play together here on set. So each camera is shooting R3D format and they're tied together by IPP2 color signs. And that's great because each sensor and each camera is in a different position and through targeting red wide gamut RGB and log 3G10, we can make intercutting and color matching just a breeze. So here we have our Monstro 8K Ranger body on the slider. It's kitted out the same way you'd see on any Hollywood set and it's ready to rip. And that's matching perfectly with the Gemini right over here. And that thing's on my gimbal shooting high frame rate in low light mode to compensate for, you know, a somewhat challenging lighting condition in here. And finally, last and certainly not least, though the least weight, we got Komodo right over my shoulder over here. That guy's strapped in for a ride, and I'm pretty excited to see some shots that it's gonna pull off. So now that you kinda understand how everything plays together, hopefully that eases you along in your comfort of maybe choosing multiple cameras that you want from Red. I hope this made the image nice and clear for you. Don't forget to like, post, and subscribe, and keep creating.